Hello and welcome to Insight of Thalmology. This is Dr. Amrit welcoming you to the lecture on floaters and flashes. Now in this video we will discuss what is what are floaters, what are the causes of floaters and what is meant by flashes which is also called the photopsias. So what are floaters? The patients will often complain of seeing black dots or rings or strands and sometimes spider-like images that are more noticeable against a bright background and even move when the eye is stationary. So as you can see in this picture, such uh, worm-like uh, structures, ring-like structure, dot-like structure and sometimes you know web-like structures, spider-web-like structures can be seen floating in the patient's uh, field of vision and it is often seen when the patient is looking uh, towards a bright object like a tube light or against a bright background they are often very very visible. So such things which are floating in the field of vision and they often move with the movement of the eye and sometimes when the eye is not moving when the eye is stationary then also they move such uh, objects uh, which you have seen are called as the floaters. So why do we actually see floaters? Normally the vitreous gel which is a gel which is present between the lens and the retina is a transparent uh, homogeneous gel. Okay, so what happens is with age and with sometimes with various pathological conditions and various diseases, the vitreous gel will undergo liquefaction. Now as that thick vitreous gel which is made up of basically the hyaluronic acid, it breaks up, it leads to the uh, presence of little particles. So little particles are going to form and little fibrous strands are going to form within that vitreous substance and such floating strands are then going to cast a shadow onto the retina. So that shadow is going to be seen as floaters in the field of vision. So are floaters dangerous or are they benign? So when are they benign and when are they dangerous? So floaters for most of the patients, they basically indicate uh, age related vitreous degeneration and liquefaction of the vitreous. So they are usually benign and they're age related and they're not very dangerous. Now also in uh, in myopes, however, in the younger age group, uh, myopes, myopic patients who are nearsighted, they can have vitreous degeneration at an early age and because of that vitreous degeneration, myopes are prone to developing floaters quite early in life. Otherwise, vitreous degeneration usually occurs in the old age and they are usually benign. However, there are certain conditions uh, in which the floaters can actually be very very dangerous also. So what are those conditions when floaters are actually dangerous? Floaters are dangerous especially when you see showers of dots. So sudden appearance of so many floaters together as if you know the patient describes it as the shards of dots in the field of vision. So that is very dangerous and it might indicate a sudden appearance of vitreous hemorrhage. Similarly, sometimes a sudden increase in the number also could indicate the formation of a retinal tear, especially if it is associated with photopsia or flashes. So retinal tear basically uh, whenever there's a retinal tear, usually there will be a traction and because of the traction on the retinal tear, there will be flashes of light uh, which are seen in the field of vision. Along with that flashes of light, if the patient sees a lot of uh, floaters also, it usually indicates that there's a tear and through which the hemorrhage has started into the vitreous and that hemorrhage will be seen as the floaters. And uh, so wherever you see floaters plus along with that you see flashes of light or photopsia, that is definitely a dangerous condition. Now patients who are suffering with diabetic retinopathy also, whenever they see uh, whenever they have an onset of new floaters that is also dangerous because they might be going into proliferative diabetic retinopathy and presence of floaters could indicate the vitreous hemorrhage next coming to what are photopsias or flashes now photopsia is a phenomena in which the patient is going to perceive flashes of light okay so the patient is going to see such flashes of light and these flashes of light will be mostly in most of the cases they are curvilinear in shape so these flashes of light are also def de de defined or they are often uh, described by patients as a sensation of flickering lights okay so such photopsias usually 
they indicate a pathology of retinal origin and a typical photopsia will usually last for less than one second and then the patient is not going to see any flashes of light so they basically indicate that there is a problem in the retina there's some abnormal pull abnormal structure which is pulling onto the retina causing traction and because of that we are having photopsias so what causes photopsia so just now as i explained you in floaters the vitreous which is normally its homogeneous structure and it's a more dense structure with age it will undergo shrinkage and liquefaction and sometimes uh, along the process of as the vitreous is going to undergo liquefaction it is going to separate the posterior part of the vitreous is going to separate from the retina which is called the posterior vitreous detachment or pvd now as the vitreous is going to separate from the retina it is going to cause a certain pull on the vitro retinal attachment now there are certain places on the vit uh, on the retina where the uh, vitreous is very firmly adhered and these are uh, the vitreous base that means the anterior part of the vitreous then we have the blood vessels where it is very uh, firmly adhered so such structures where it is very firmly adhered over there there might be more amount of pull and because of that pull there will be vitro retinal traction that means the traction which the vitreous is exerting onto the retina and because of that traction the retina will get irritated and there will be a discharge of electrical impulses and those electrical impulses will be interpreted by the brain as flashes now as i already told you that retina is nothing but it is a composition of lots of neurons which are, uh, are responsible for developing of vision and for the interpretation of vision so whenever the retina is getting pulled by the vitreous and there's traction it will lead to generation of electrical impulses and those impulses are causing the flashes so are flashes dangerous flashes are usually benign flashes are also called photopsias and they are age related since vitreous degeneration and posterior vitreous detachment which is called pvd is seen with age so most for the most cases it is usually benign however you have to be very careful because sometimes when they are photopsias a peripheral ophthalmoscopic examination is very important because that might be an indicator for developing retinal tear and sometimes an early retinal detachment as well so are there any other causes of photopsias not related with the eyes yes so ocular migraine which is associated with aura and also vertebral base, uh, basilar insufficiency so such conditions also can irritate the meninges around the visual pathway and therefore can cause photopsias however the difference is that the normal photopsia of retinal origin will last only for about one second however the ocular migraine can last up to about 30 minutes also they, are, they last for a longer time along with the aura so what do you do next once a patient uh, has photopsias basically an indirect ophthalmoscopic examination with indentation so that you can see the peripheral parts of the retina is very very important the peripheral retina is often the site is often the site for retinal degenerations which are called the peripheral retinal degenerations so these could be the lattice and a white without pressure white with pressure and sometimes the development of retinal holes retinal tears they can all present in the periphery and extreme periphery of the retina which are difficult to visualize on a plain examination you need to do an indirect ophthalmoscopic examination along with indentation so that's important here so indentation is necessary and you have to look for any peripheral retinal degeneration okay and specifically when photopsia is accompanied with floaters that's a red sign that there might be a tear and the tear has led to vitreous hemorrhage and this patient might progress to retinal detachment so such patients you need to follow up very carefully